going on guys welcome back my last video i uh left off we uh, finalized the rear uh, the hoops on the buggy there got the one side of the shocks all mounted up and uh well i went ahead and cut up some more pieces of pipe yeah about got some pieces of pipe cut up that i'm gonna have to clean up the edges real quick Went ahead and mounted the other sh uh, shocks on the other side. Got them just kind of sitting up there. Bolts are loose, but got everything lined up, mocked up. We get these little pads and stuff cleaned up. So I'll get this intersection all tacked into place. And then I'll be removing this hub right here, or this knuckle. It's made of 3 16 plate, but that was used for a pattern. So I can kind of get my angles right and bolt locations for the control arms. So I'll be taking that off, cutting it apart. Coming over, we'll be making that stuff out of quarter inch plate. Not quite sure what kind of riding I'll be doing with this thing yet, but I know I'm gonna be beating it up and I kind of don't want those things to break. Be kind of hard to replace uh, if we're out anywhere. So right now I'm gonna get myself kind of situated, start cleaning that the pads up there, get those bars tacked in, and then we'll start working on the knuckles. All right, got the crossbars mounted up, tacked into place. Look pretty good, pretty solid. I mean, if I shake it, if I shake it too much, it's gonna fall off the jack stands. So, but now we got those tacked into place. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get those knuckles off, get them cut apart, get some measurements taken, get it transferred over to that quarter inch plate we got, and start making the new ones. Hopefully have this thing sitting under its own weight here pretty soon. Still waiting on a couple parts to come in for the hubs, but once those come in, we should be able to set it down. But let's go ahead and get those buckles off and start cutting. All right, got the knuckle off, got it cut apart, got the pattern traced out here on the on our quarter inch plate. Get there, got that. Got these guys cut off too. I need to take measurements, make the mounting tabs. That way I can get them back, mounted back up on the control arms. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the plasma cutter, get these things cut out, get them tacked into place, get them fit on the buggy, and just hopefully be one step closer to getting this thing sitting down under its own weight. All right be really really cool been waiting a long time for this so let's do it
Got the first one cut out. As you can see in the video though, I had to do a little bit of welding right there. Got a little carried away with the plasma cutter. Got the world's most you know, steady hand. <laughs> but I did manage to weld it back up, as you can see there. Got a little bit more of a better circle. Put it down there. Sits good on the bearing. We're rocking. Not too much side to side play. So make sure I got the uh, holes drilled out good. But there's enough metal there and the bolts will help hold it center. But um, I'll try not to be so, so uh, ambitious or aggressive on the next one so I don't have to do any more welding than I have to. But anyways, I'll get set up and start cutting out the second, the second level. All right, got them cut out. See, it's dark outside. Started when it was light. Uh, I didn't have to do any welding, but I did have to do a bunch of grinding because I didn't cut as much off the second one. I didn't, didn't want to do any welding, but I lost. I had to grind. But they're both out. All I got to do now is cut. Ugh. Start cutting out the metal to make these tabs so I can mount them on the control arms. Got these two out here, making sure I don't catch myself on fire again. But, all right, so I'll go ahead and cut them out and uh, get them tack welded and mocked up on the, on the buggy, see how they look. Well, we got the things cut out. About an inch and three quarter wide. Quarter inch plate. I just cut strips of it out of our out of our plate and then took my measurements, made my cuts and bent it where it's supposed to be bent. And then just cut the excess off the bottom. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the original bolts, the mounting hardware, get them bolted together, get them tacked on to the, uh, the plate, the knuckle that was made attach it to the bearing and then get it on the buggy see what it looks like all right start welding dirty all right we got the knuckles all tacked up it's in the quarter inch plate got the hardware the allen's holding the bearing on got our wheel spacer on there i'm gonna have my son there he is over there he's gonna grab the camera from me he's gonna watch me uh put this one on i'm only gonna put this one side on see how she fits uh the other side's still a little hot but we'll put this on see what she looks like They're just sitting on there right now. Uh, where does she go? I love these cameras. There she is. Sitting in there in all her glory. Tack welded up. 
course, she's going to need some cleanup. She just tack welded, of course. I put the wheels on, make sure they, well, they fit with the spacers, but anyways, she's tack welded. She's on. We're going to let the other one cool down before we put it on. Plus, I realize I'm kind of short on hardware, so my dreams of putting this thing on the ground under its own weight tonight were shattered by that. But anyways, I'm going to call it a night right there. I got accomplished most of what I wanted to get accomplished. Got the rear cross brace welded up inside that thing. Show you guys again. When I say welded up, I mean tacked in place. Uh, still got a lot of other fitment and stuff. So got to get radiator, fuel cell. Uh, figure out where to put the battery. Computer. All kinds of other stuff. But Thank my boys again for hanging out with me. It's awesome having them up here. Causing all kinds of ruckus, making sure I don't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, my call tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please turn on notifications, you know. Let you know I got new videos coming. All kinds of neat stuff. I think I do this every time, but I got motorcycles, drift trikes, all kinds of neat stuff I want to work on. And this channel is not just for one thing. This is just that's why I call it the toy shop. But anyways, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.